Brain aneurysm and a stroke are two very different pathologies that they both can result in similar signs and symptoms. And as we've covered multiple times, symptoms such as face weakness, speech difficulty, um, and any other shorter neurologic deficit need to alert us to immediately uh, call 911. An ischemic stroke is really the blockage of a blood vessel that results in decreased blood flow in the brain and subsequently these symptoms develop because the tissue does not get enough oxygen. A brain aneurysm or a ruptured brain aneurysm is a situation where there's bleeding in the brain secondary to a ruptured weak spot on the side of the blood vessel because that's what an aneurysm is. Think of it as a little balloon on the side of the blood vessel. When the pressure gets too high, that balloon can let go. There can be bleeding inside the brain. So two very distinct entities. In one case, there's not enough blood going into the brain. And in the other case, there's too much bleeding inside the brain. So when it comes to stroke, we have two general treatment options. One is using IV medications through the vein uh, that can break down the clot that's causing the blockage inside the brain. In the last five or six years, we've developed endovascular treatment options, meaning treatment options that involve us going through the artery in the leg or the artery in the wrist and navigating our catheters and wires all the way up inside the brain and removing those blood clots mechanically. Now, when it comes to brain aneurysms, treatment is similar in a sense because the majority of the times we're able to go through the artery in the leg or the wrist, navigate up into the weak spot, into that balloon that we described and fill that balloon with platinum coils or use stents to block the flow inside the balloon. When that's not an option, we have to do open surgery where we remove the window of bone and then we're able to put a clip at the neck of the aneurysm and prevent the bleeding from happening.